Hey everybody, do you like Sonic the Hedgehog? Me too. Well today I'm going to show you how to move like him. So, as you can see, I'm moving very fast. I can actually do a quick base tour real quick, skip ahead if you're not interested. But as you can see, I've actually got multiple designs here for my recent multi-level elevator. I actually polished it over time, and so I've got previous designs before I was able to make it more compact. So this is the final one right here. And so, let's see some other things I've been working on. So I've actually got an improvement on sugarcane farms coming soon. Really excited about it. Um, this is a prototype, Mysticat made a version, and this is based off of that. I was using this as a proof of concept for performance so that I could figure out what the baseline was before I made one that's better. So, over here, I've got my 3D art video. So over here, I have the ability to paint in 3D, so this is actually really cool. I made an alarm sensor that allows you to remotely detect based on skulk, showing that you can make it travel long distance. Right here I've got an upcoming video where we automatically place rails. That's going to be super useful for certain roller coaster designs. Um, right here we've got my redstone video. This is the logic gates, and so you've got and and or and not an XOR and all the different combinations. So you can check that one out. I'm going to put all these links in the thumbnail. Over here, I've got more experiments. This is me playing with targets and seeing what we can do with them. And it actually yielded fruit that turned into this video right here, where we made a kind of a little obstacle course using a bunch of cool tricks that you can do with targets. So over here, I'm actually working on a quadruple piston extender design that's better and more compact and more flush than ones that exist right now. And so these are prototypes that don't actually work or almost work, and I'm still working out the kinks in it. Um, lots of things. So this is my powder snow. This is my powder sm snow spleef. So right here, when I did my powder snow video, I showed off some of the things you can do with it. And so right here, we've got some of those, if you remember that video. Um, I actually started playing with Doors for Redstone Masterclass before we started it. And so that was actually what took place here. So over there, you can see that I've got my water pourer that wipes away your redstone clean. I used to do this all the time in survival for my laboratories, and I have a time lapse in there that shows you how to make one water bucket cover a whole region and wipe everything out. It's pretty neat. So right here in the pink, you can see I've got my one wide elevator. There's an orange one here too. Um, I think the one I did in the video is actually gray, but in this world is where I actually worked out the design and figured out how to do it. Right here we've got my tower of Bottomless Pit. That was a fun video. It's a escape room that you have to hit a target to be able to get out of. Over here I'm actually working on a version of League of Legends in Minecraft. And so this is the area where I am setting up my minions. It's not working yet, but that's one of the projects I'm working on. And so this is a good example of how I'm able to do a video every day. I always have a new project going on. I've got multiple projects going on, actually. I'm working on a couple new elevator designs. More are going to be coming soon. I've got all kinds of elevators strewn through here because this is where I originally started doing my elevators. But with that summary, let's go ahead and move on. I'm going to show you how we do this fast moving speed. So how am I going fast? Well, I've changed my attribute modifier right here. So if I go data get entity attributes, you can see that I've got a generic top movement speed of two. Two is actually really fast. Fun fact, normal in Minecraft is about 0 0.1. And so by using the attribute command, you specify a target, an attribute, and you can go base set 0 0.1, and that will give you the default, but you can actually make it ridiculously slow. I could do this, and now I can't really move anymore. I'm grounded. I'm stuck. I'm trying to move right now, and I just can't move. Or I can do something like 10 and break the game with how fast I can move. And so, let's go back to something sane. This is a little bit faster than normal. And so this gives you the ability to accept. But there's something way cooler you can do, which is you can also change the number of hearts you've got. So there's a modifier or a attribute called um, generic.maxhealth, and it defaults base set 20, and each heart is worth two. And so if I were to set it to two, I would actually only have one heart. And you can see that by going effect give me instant health, and now it will actually clear it. When you try and give yourself a health potion, it'll actually update the hearts on the page. Now I only have one heart total. So I can actually go and say, say it, I set it to 40, and now 
There we go. I'm lazy. So now I have 40 health or 20 hearts. And this is how people give themselves ridiculous number of hearts. I could go 400, and now I've got a ridiculous number. And now I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to go... I need to give myself like a really high amplifier on this. I can't go much higher than 255. I guess it wraps around to zero. There we go. So now, by giving myself 250, it filled it all the way up. And so I can actually go back down. Let's say I wanted to only have five hearts. I could set it to 10 health, like this. And see now, you can't tell yet, but as soon as I take damage or I get health, now I only have five hearts. And so if you played games like Legend of Zelda where you start with three hearts and you have to wor work your way up, you could do that by setting it to six. And so now I have to start with three hearts. And so you can actually make a game. And this is how the Lifesteal SMPs work, where they add and remove hearts. They're using data packs and mods that essentially do this. And so you're able to control, like when somebody dies, you take a heart from somebody and give them another one. And so just using the attribute command, so there's one other feature of attributes you should know about, and that's that you can actually put them on items, and they will actually affect the entity that's got them on. So I'm going to use this command, and I'm going to put a generator in the description below so you don't have to understand how this works. But you, if I add movement speed to something and specify slot feet, and it's a pair of leather boots, now when I put this leather boots on, it's magic. And so now I move fast because I'm wearing the magic leather boots of Mercury. I could go name them in an anvil and give them some cool epic lore name. But this is great for map making. And so that's something else you should know. Links will be in the description for the wiki. I definitely recommend checking those out because you can add other ones like generic outfall range on a zombie. You set it to zero, the zombie won't hurt anything. It becomes passive. Or it can follow you to the ends of the earth if you do a big number. And um, go check those links out. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.